I call to order the monthly meeting of the Scarborough Sanitary District. Uh, this is, what month is this? July. <laughs> said most industrial customers do have a submeter. The word do should be D-O. Any others? Any others? Any others? So all in favor of approval? Chairman, there's a thing on the agenda for the June 23rd regular monthly meeting. Because the meeting never was held, there shouldn't be any minutes from the meeting. Well, we did actually come down and uh, the governor packet in short summary. Right, but it's a summary. It's not meeting minutes, and none of us were there, so we shouldn't we should really approve it. That's 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 All right. Mr. Chairman, I just make a, a, a motion that the record reflect the fact that the June 23rd meeting was not held because of that. Thank you. I'll second that. Did you make that motion? Yes. Okay. Any questions or comments? All in favor? Thank you. Uh, we'll move on to the superintendent's operations report. Okay. Um, <clears throat> last month we had to cancel the regular monthly meeting due to people's busy sub schedules, resulting in a lack of form. We prohibited the district's ability to conduct business. I did check with our legal counsel with regard to the form, and they provided the following. Regarding the form question, without a charter or bylaws, we look into the Legislation, rules of construction, and or arbitral rewards. In your case, a majority of the trustees constitute a quorum. Therefore, with seven trustees, four trustees present would constitute a quorum. Once a quorum has been met, the meeting can be conducted, and any action taken must be approved by a majority of those present. Therefore, if four trustees are present, the quorum is met, and any action would require three votes, majority. Uh, it, further, it further stated that the enabling legislation, Title 38, also states that a quorum of the trustees can conduct the, the affairs of the district, even if there is a vacancy on the board of trustees. We read this to mean that if there is a vacancy on the board, it is a quorum of the sitting trustees that constitutes a quorum. Uh, my recommendation would be for the district to amend uh, its bylaws to address this issue, and then it would be clearly spelled out for all future boards. That again was uh, additional uh, comments from our legal counsel. Uh, I propose, I'm gonna, I'm gonna be working with our legal counsel to amend our bylaws to clearly define this issue because this has come up in the past. And then, um, and, and unless directed otherwise, we'll model the language based on the, the discussion above. Uh, a copy of the monthly report of operations for the month of May is included in your packet. Our average daily F1 flow for the month was 1.17 million gallons a day. Our F1 quality was well within our permitted limits. We averaged 96 uh, percent removal for biological oxygen demand and 97 percent for total suspended solids. Our F1 concentrations were 12 milligrams per liter and 9 milligrams per liter respectively. Again, the, the, the monthly report of operations for June were included. 
included in the packet that flows for that month is 1.16 million gallons a day. Our removals were 95 and 96 percent for BOD and TSS, and those concentrations were 15 million gallons per meter and 12 respectively. Copy of the pump station flows for the month of May and June are included in the packet. Several of our medium use electricity contracts expire this December. With that, I am uh, looking at options for contract renewals. The electricity market is in a huge flux right now. Although overall average consumption is on a decline, overall peak demands are steadily increasing. Consequently, electric pricing is shifting more cost onto demand charges. In that regard, through staff efforts, the district has maximized our reduction by reducing consumption of about 171 kilowatts to zero in 2015 during the peak demand uh, events. The result of the reduction was, uh, was to reduce capacity costs from um, June 2015 to June 2016 by approximately $9,000. These efforts put the district in a better position to address the future pricing. Currently, I'm uh, talking with two brokers uh, to determine who will be able to secure the best price for the district. A point of order, are we waiting until the end for questions, or should we be diving in? We can interrupt if you like. Okay, I just wanted to ask a question about this. Are, are we doing anything in terms of, is there any ability for us to aggregate any of the medium accounts mm -hmm. and pull them together um, so that we can move up to a higher grade? I will work with that bro uh, two brokers. The other thing I was going to ask about is through SCADA or through other control measures, is there any way that we can protect against the demand charge, the demand ratchets? You know, for example, if two pumps kick in infrequently or something like that. Um, I know at other facilities they've been able to kick on a generator or do something like that when they're going to hit a peaking factor. Mm -hmm. uh, and it, it stops them from having the demand ratchet is high. So there may be some control stuff. I don't know if you've looked into that. I haven't uh, looked into that as of, as of yet. I can start. I'm not, uh, I'm not quite sure what I'll lead to what I do. But okay. I certainly can look into that. Thank you. Mr. Chairman, I have a question. Um, the demand charge, mm -hmm. is it based on main power options and ISO New England's one hour peak from 2015? Is that what that's based on? Well, in this case, 2014. 2014. Okay. So um, that demand charge is only based on that one hour on that peak summer day mm -hmm. two years ago. So oh, I'm sorry, it is 2015. 2015. So last year. So the shaving this year would only work if it happened on the same peak hour. And we keep a very, very close watch on it right now. Um, if the peak so far has been this past Monday. Past Monday or Friday? Monday. Oh, I thought it was Friday, 24th, 4th, 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 
number two generator, that new generator has been delivered and placed on the pad previous use for the fuel tank. Uh, the fuel tank has been removed and a temporary fuel tank has been set up within the pump station to facilitate this work. Carl and Paul will soon begin the work needed to complete that installation. Uh, the town has reclaimed the section of East in the road from Black Point. The district has 17 manholes along the stretch. We have removed the frames and covers and plated the manholes to facilitate the equipment. The road has since been paved with a base course and is scheduled to be paved next fall. Our schedule is to let the road winter and then raise the frames and covers to the final grade in the spring. The town. So, uh, who's doing that work for us? Uh, we utilized um, Keenan Construction. Outside painting of the doors and trim and the compost barn and the amendment building of the plant. Uh, it's a budget that I expect this year. Once again, we have renewed our insurance coverage with flight filter and medic. Overall, our insurance coverage increased by $140, with a total cost of $52,326. Uh, we received two quotes. The second one was from Travelers Insurance, and although they were approximately $350 left in Clay Felter. The coverage was not as thorough. Consequently, I, I chose to stay with Clay Felter. Not only because of the price. Uh, pump station one, we conducted some BOD testing of the wastewater um, and found it to be very high. It was 810 milligrams per liter. Um, coming into the plant, our, our informed BOD is approximately 200 milligrams per liter. Coming out of the house, I would expect it to be somewhere around. Uh, we will be repeating this test to follow up and determine the sources. Uh, one, uh, this business is down there, they have really ramped up on uh, fish processing and stuff. So 
suspicion where do we think, uh, excuse me, Mr. Chairman, can I ask a question? Is it also potentially that the lack of rain is not diluting the higher loads that we might be seeing? I mean, the reason I ask is we're seeing similar loads coming into our plant, and uh, I'm thinking that the lower I and I, the higher amount of tourists, uh, the less infiltration we're getting. Maybe we're just getting more solids. Yes, that, that is. That would be somewhat true, and they do see it reflected in the influence of the plant. Um, our plant's running around right now 250, let's say the average for the month was 216, I guess. Um, and, you know, it's not uncommon in a situation to have an average less than But yeah, that, that is some, would be true in some cases, but to this extent, I think it is more than that. Uh, the week of August 22nd, we'll be pilot testing an odor control unit at Old Pump Station 2 and 11. The technology generates ozone, which when combined with the nozzle of small particles of water generates a hydroxyl radical. Uh, the system is manufactured from the vapex environment. Oh, um, we've also just recently, uh, we have a photo logger that we put out that measures hydrogen sulfide. We had it in the manhole just outside of pump station two recently for a week. Um, the average H2S concentration in that manhole was 21 parts per million with a peak of 123. It's pretty uh, high. Um, what do you expect to see? Uh, in the winter time, you probably be averaging. Does the current voter control strategy, um, is that effective to some degree against some of this like, uh, hydrogen sulfide? Probably not with the 810 milligrams per liter. Probably not, good point. <laughs> well, we know in warmer climates they do have to add like dioxide and other things as additives into this. I mean, we're, we're in a very unusual time. We do at, at pump station one, which uh, this in, would include the discharge from we do add in um, calcium nitrate. We make our own dioxide. It's cheaper. And the hydroxyl ion, is that also available if we wanted to say use sodium hydroxide? Would that work? I do not think so. Uh, and that's only treating it at the odor. It's not going to prevent the creation of it. Uh, you, yes, you're, you make a very valid point. I'm just saying that because there's other districts, not ours, but some others that are trying that. With some success, limited, but some success. Just curious about the ozone system as well, too. Is um, is there a ozone destruct or in monitoring system on that? You know, in case there's leakage <coughs> on that unit. <coughs> smell a sweet smell. Don't go in. Yes. That I know. <laughs> Shouldn't go in anyway right now with 123 packs. Oh, I'm just sure. <laughs> um, I received a phone call. Any other questions? Oh, thanks. Uh, I received a phone call from a homeowner who owns property within the Higgins Beach area. The property is a seasonal cottage with a water service that is laid at the top of the ground. Consequently, they only use the property approximately one quarter each year. Her complaint was that she should not have to pay a sewer bill during those times if the property is not occupied, but she cannot even have the water during those times. I tried to explain to her the reasoning behind our rate structure, fixed costs versus variable costs, and the costs associated with obtaining and managing water data. I also pointed out to her other communities that utilize fixed costs as well as towards communities with uh, minimum uh, charges, uh, several of which exceed our fee. Um, I offered her a forum to speak to the board, but she chose to wait at this time because she wanted to call those communities by reference. She did ask that I advise the board of our phone office. <coughs> uh, the district logos are now installed on the district trucks. Uh, the picture you see here is one of the trucks out there today. Uh, and I also provide
by a copy of uh, the new business card on that one there. I've hired Rhonda Forster as a temporary employee to assist in the audit slash accounting of all our commercial accounts. Um, this was something we had talked about uh, several weeks ago. Um, and the audit will be with regards to actual flows versus approvals. Ms. Forster is a registered PE, both here in Massachusetts. Uh, she worked directly under me for four years at William Current, but left to obtain her MBA. After obtaining her MBA, she she views this as an opportunity to get back into engineering in a way to help build her resume. I, you know, um, I look at it as a great opportunity for the district to um, work through this uh, work that we have, uh, have to get done, and I think I'm confident that she do a great job. I've included her resume into the reference. On July 26th, I received a voter complaint from number four on Ninth Street which is off of East Korea and Ab, the Pine Point area of town. The residents detected the odor the night before at around 10 p.m. This is an unusual for us to receive an odor complaint, for it's on the outskirts of our collection system. Um, we did investigate, but did not find the source of the odor, nor did we take that. Yeah. 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 Any questions on uh, I have a couple questions. Um, to amend our bylaws, getting back to uh, the issue of the core, um, we have a requirement for public hearing and, uh, and notice to amend, have to to amend the bylaws. I, would so. I, think, I think we just want to ensure if we're talking about amending the bylaws that we can follow the yeah. pre procedure prescribed. So you, you, should take a, you should take a close look at that. Yep. Um, and the uh, rate increase from CMP on the distribution costs, did you estimate what that will do to our electrical line in the budget? I have not at this time. I, I had planned to do it, and I just had to do it. So maybe for the next meeting, you could just you could just give us an estimate of what you think it actually is going to be to see if there's adjustment we need to make elsewhere. Um, and then uh, the last the last question I had, I guess, was with regard to um, the anticipated infiltration uh, in the industrial park range area and the common uh, concept that folks will be using some pumps for discharging into the system. Uh, have we have we done any kind of notice um, within that drainage area to the users just to let them know that if they are running some pumps that uh, they should a discontinue it and b if we find it that they'd be liable to be billed for a pretty significant amount of water that those some pumps would be discharged. I have not, but well, I've, I've drafted letters in the past and gotten a few How many how many users? I mean, it's not a, it's not a huge. It's not a huge number of users, yeah. and you know, um, most of them build in the slab of brick, which is an unusual part. Um, so you could actually target you could actually target um, those buildings that have basements, basements and uh, maybe deal with the well, I don't know if that would be a good way to do it or not. Maybe just a blanket. Maybe you could just ask them to call you. You know, if they have them, you could consult with them about another option. Yeah. Uh, that was all. Thank you. No, no, like you have questions. No, nope. I'm all set. <laughs> all right. So I guess we move on to correspondence. Facility inspection. He concluded in the report that the operation and maintenance of uh, 
uh, are excellent at this facility. It's how we can support this facility in their time. I don't want to have a bad report. Yes, 
It's this right here. It's just a form, right? It's this form. It's just a form. Did you get this one, Johnny? Maybe I'll yeah. just read it because my name's on it. Okay, so it, oh, it is a certificate of resolution. Uh, yeah, okay, I think you're fine with that. I think we'll have to read the resolution on the new item of business. Yes, I, I recognize that. All right, so Nick, did you, say, you said you'd like to read it? If that's what we can do, sure. I'm Nicole Rico hereby certify that I am Secretary of Scarborough Sanitary District, a not for profit corporation organized and existing pursuant to the laws of the state of Maine and having its principal place of business at 415 Black Point Road. I further certify the following on July 28, uh, 2016, the Board of Trustees of the Corporation authorized the investment management agreement between Corporation and Key Bank National National Association, parentheses, quote, key, in substantially the form attached here to designated key as agent for the safekeeping and dealing with the securities and the operation of the account. Two, Dave Hughes is the duly authorized and acting representative of the corporation with the title set, set forth next to his name immediately below and that he has been duly authorized by the corporation to exercise all authority retained by the corporation under agreement attached here to. So, name, title, Dave Hughes, title superintendent. Following is a complete <coughs> list of names and addresses of the officers and directors of this corporation. Name and title, Benedetto Viola, chairman. <clears throat> Seven Militia Lane, Scarborough, Maine. Charles Andreessen, Vice Chair, Fort Bell Terrace, Scarborough, Maine. Nicola Rico, that is I. Clerk, 11 Hawthorne Circle, Scarborough, Maine. David Nelson, Treasurer, 59 Black Point Road, Scarborough, Maine. Four, this certifies, super, this certification supersedes previous certifications of authority with respect to the management of the accounts listed above affected by this authorization. All authorizations shall remain in effect until they are revoked or superseded. Any such action shall be certified by the Secretary of the Corporation in writing. In witness, I have hereto subscribed my name and affixed the seal of this corporation. Thanks, Scott. So we're going to sign that tonight and we don't have to see After it. it is approved, I can sign it. Authorizing the chairman to execute the resolution for the district's uh, 401k plan 
which will authorize the superintendent to execute the penalty as provided. With that, I'll read the uh, resolution and the amendment. Uh, the Board of Directors resolution to amend a plan. Whereas the Board of Directors of Scarborough Sanitary District has assembled in a meeting this uh, 28th day of July 2016, whereas an employer established the 401 profit sharing plan to provide retirement benefits for employees of the employer, and whereas the employer has the right to amend the plan pursuant to the provisions of the plan. Now, therefore, be it resolved that this attached plan amendment is approved. All other provisions and conditions of the plan remain unchanged, and the accused superintendent uh, is hereby authorized and directed to take such further action as may be necessary, appropriate, or advisable to uh, actuate the foregoing resolutions. The undersigned, Vito Viola. Benedetto. Benedetto, sorry. Uh, the employer hereby certifies that our foregoing resolutions were duly adopted by the Board of Directors at the meeting of the reference hearing, and that the documents attached are uh, true copies of the documents referenced in those resolutions. Okay, go for I'll read the amendment now. Okay. Uh, <laughs> I'll second just in case. <laughs> the amendment to the 401A profit sharing plan of the Scarborough Sanitary District. In accordance with the provisions of the plan, the employer hereby amends its plan effective as of August 1, 2016, as follows. Section 1.3D2 is changed to read as follows. <coughs> This plan shall accept any rollover contribution as provided for in Section 5.7. That's the end of the uh, amendments. Uh, then it's, this amendment executed in the state of, on this day of, um, and it will be signed by the Scarborough Sanitary District by uh, David Hughes, the, San, uh, the superintendent, which is I, and it will be received by uh, Mutual uh, America Life Insurance Company by the Advanced can make a motion. You know what I think So <clears throat> there's no additional cost to the district as a result of this. It's just being able to roll your money into Correct. that account and to comply with the person that you're in time to spread over another time. Just out of curiosity, when's the last time you looked at the total fees for our four oh one K? Within the year. Somebody independently check the fee flows for them. Okay, so any other comments or questions? Bob? Our plan defines rollover contributions so that it comes from a retirement account, not something that somebody can try to put in from anything else. Correct. The IRS would be applicable to that. Yeah, the IRS would be applicable to that. Somebody infused a big lot of money in it. So anyway, um, any other comments or questions? I see any all in favor? Yes. Point of order, Mr. Chairman? Yes. Um, do the trustees have to come back after executive session? And if not, may we move the executive session after the trustee comments, or after term, can we do that? So the question really is: Is there is there action that the board will need to take? That's the question. That is the outcome of the executive session. It could be. A, it could be. Yeah, as I said, it could. So, All right, should, never mind. so then we should recess. We should recess. Okay. Never mind. Motion to recess. Second. Second. All in favor? And So we're going to move into executive session for legal matter um, for Title I, Section 405, MRSA. Is that enough? That is not. Right. Is that Jason? Sure. Uh, 
congrats to the and the staff for uh, another fantastic report from the EPA. I also want to send out uh, our, our felt condolences to the Morse family and the loss of Ken Morse, who's a lifetime Scarborough resident uh, and passed away yesterday. So, condolences to the Morse family, uh, to the direct family of my own, and uh, all my friends and others. That new Ken, uh, great guy. and. Uh, very well liked and very well known in the community. So. Kudos to Paul, Rudy, Scott, Carl, and Gary on their excellent work on Pump Station 1. Um, kudos to the whole crew on another stellar report from the DEP inspection. And uh, so enjoy the rest of the summer. Uh, nothing for me in the past. Joe? Uh, yeah, I want to echo the congratulations to the staff on uh, the maintenance work accomplished and on the, uh, again, successful uh, inspection report from the DEP. And uh, that's all I have for this evening. Bob? Uh, I echo uh, the appreciation for our staff for the great uh, DEP report and uh, the work on the pump station. We know they're going to keep up the good work on the future work. Just let them know how much we appreciate them. And we, uh, uh, wish uh, Trustee McSorley's wife a belated happy birthday. <laughs> <laughs> Just for the record.